I believe that a really great picture is worth a thousand words and I'm hoping today that I can show you how this camera that I'm shooting on right now, which is the Canon 1DX Mark II, compares to my iPhone, which also takes really good photos when I'm flying with my paramotor. So it doesn't really matter what you have at your disposal, you're still capable of taking awesome photographs. The sun's coming up over the mountains, so I say let's get the paramotor all set up, let's get the wing out, and let's send it up into the atmosphere. The excitement in this is taking this glider, launching it into the air with a paramotor, and then managing a camera all at the same time. The winds are calm, the weather's beautiful. Let's try and make the best of the situation and learn something. Let's get to it. I've got the Parajet Maverick with the most 185 plus. This thing puts out a ton of power. All right, first things first, I'm all clipped in. I did my checks. I'm gonna slam on this throttle, give it the old run up. Here we go. Woo. Grab my camera. Trims are set to three. That's where I like to keep them during takeoff. Awesome. We are set. One, two, three. The camera is okay. Doing my quick checks. Camera's good. Lighter's good. And that sun is coming up beautifully. Check, check, check. Okay. So this camera that you're seeing right now is not the sort of camera you would want to bring up with you flying if you weren't very experienced. The reason is, is because this is a Canon 1DX Mark II and it has a $3,000 lens on a $6,000 body with a $500 memory card. Does it really make that much of a difference in the quality? We'll find out. I'm gonna go ahead and do step number one, which is find a great place to take a photo. And then we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll go ahead and compare this camera to my iPhone photos and see, does it really make a difference? I love the way that the sun is just hitting these like little ridges right here next to the mountain. But I have a feeling the sun is gonna to be too bright to allow for any detail in the shadows there. I kinda of want the focus for my Instagram page and Facebook account to be uh, like, so that the person who sees the photo can see the legs and be like, whoa, that's what it's like to be up there flying. That's really cool. Let's go into the settings real quick. And we're gonna do high speed, continuous, which is gonna take a bunch of photos in a short period of time. And then I'm gonna click on, click on white balance and see if the sunrise gives us something to work with. Looking at the legs, wow, look at that. All right, it's already looking good. As far as the white balance goes, it looks natural. And I'm gonna go as wide as this lens will allow me to go, which is 24 millimeter focal length. And let's just do a test shot real quick. Oh yeah. I'm gonna fly alongside the highway. I'm not gonna go over it, I'm gonna fly alongside it because that actually has some detail. We'll get the desert, maybe the mountains off in the background and then fire off a few shots and then switch out to the iPhone, get a picture on the iPhone, bring them into the editing software once we make it back to my house, and then we'll just do a quick comparison and see uh, how you do photography while using your flying machine. I like to hold the camera a little lower because then you can get the legs and that depth of field that I do love. It puts people in that perspective as if they were flying. And if I hold it center on my chest, and just kind of wham wham, there's some photos. And let's try one more flying in the other direction. There we go, we've got some photos taken on the, the really high-end DSLR camera. Let's go ahead and whip out the cell phone and just do a, a comparable shot. All right, and it's as easy as a swip swap swap swipity swap swap swipper into the camera, pull it out, 
pick up those legs and fire away. Already the exposure is just so much better. Like it automatically tells, like does everything for you. I imagine there's ways that you can manually change the settings for your camera in your cell phone, whether you're using an iPhone or an Android. The automatic settings seem to do it really well. And boom. And that was, a, that was pretty good right off the bat. Let's go ahead and make our way back to the field. And stow this cell phone for landing. All right, I've got the photo taken on this fancy camera as well as my iPhone. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it on over to the field, which is right over there. I'm gonna land it as gracefully as possible and make my way back to the computer so we can compare and see how they look different. I can tell you right off the bat, Filming with this camera is way more challenging than just holding your cell phone. This thing's like a brick. But is it gonna make that difference? We'll find out. Camera's turned off. Let's find our wind direction real quick. What can we reference on the ground? We wanna land into the wind. There's some dust, look at that. That dust is showing that it's coming from my back right now. I see some little ribbons on sticks that might help me figure out the wind. It's pretty fast this way. Let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and get on down. And nice, very nice. Let's stow the brakes, pack this up. Check it out, my lens isn't broken. That's always a good sign. Right on, that was a great landing. So now I just gotta pack up this Dudek Warps 18 meter, throw the paramotor back up onto the truck, and then uh, head back home and upload these files. And let's check it out, hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'm sure you'll get a kick out of the channel. Editing is a lot of fun, but it takes time and a bit of practice, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it. I had a little bit of extra help from my girlfriend. When I brought the photos back, I handed them off to her, and I've been helping her learn the ins and outs of cameras, DSLRs, as well as the editing programs that you use to really try to pull the most out of them. Photography can be tricky even when you're on the ground. When you take it up in the air with a paramotor, it's a lot going on. This camera, the DSLR that I'm shooting on, has about 30 buttons, and to be messing with so many different functions and flying simultaneously, at the very least, you need to be really proficient with flying paramotors. If you're planning on just using your iPhone or an Android, you really don't need to know too much as far as how the editing softwares work because smartphones just take a good photo automatically. A picture is worth a thousand words and both of these cameras are totally capable of taking some awesome shots. So if all you have is a smartphone, use that camera because you'll be able to capture something amazing. If you think I should marry Leandra, make sure you click that like button. <laughs> Make sure you stay tuned because Leandra plans on getting back up in the air very soon. I hope you subscribe. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, like the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace! Welcome aboard my magical flying carpet. We're approaching the El Paso Walmart. Here we go! <laughs> People act like they don't see a flying machine every day.